All right. I am not looking forward to this. I hope this team is ready because I sure as hell ain't. Let's do this. Don't miss you. All right, all right. the damage. Oh, this be Get the ballista. <laughs> You'll be fine, Stan. Hang in there, buddy. Go, he's really going for Liliana. There you are. Yeah. An order. Yes. Yeah. I am ready. Oh dear. Hold on. 
Work well. The numbers have been thin down.
right, all right. Then it was over. With the archdemon dead, the darkspawn horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the blight had been ended, 
before it had truly begun. For Eldon had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king. proper king. My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. Oh, that's so the one who led the final charge against the Archdemon remains with us still. An inspiration to all he saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the hero of Ferelden, the first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Garahel four centuries ago. Hey -o. My friend, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return the favor. Is there any boon that you might request of Ferelden's king? If it is within my power, I will grant it. Uh, I only choose the search code, a title, or just I give it independence. Ooh, that, I like both of those options. The sacrifice of the war should not be forgotten again, but also the circle of Magi. Now that's a very good point. I think we can I'll begin with a words. monument here in Denerim, dedicated to the Grey Wardens who have fallen. Duncan, Riordan, all of them. And it is high time some scholars were collected to learn more about the Darkspawn. We'll face them again, with the dwarves as well as here. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine wants the land of Arl Howe is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? I can't do it. My impression was that she didn't want to be found. But I understand completely. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you're ready. <laughs> Thanks, Alistair. And I even leveled up too. How nice. I'll add it to my magic and more to my health. Gladly take that. So, we made it. I'm impressed, aren't you? The odds were completely against one of us actually getting to the Archdemon. But of course you would make it. I knew you would. I just don't understand Aww. how you're still alive. I guess Riordan was wrong? No, I had no idea. Me. I suppose that makes sense. Speaking of Morrigan, do you know where she went? I'm told she vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. Good riddance, I say. Uh, at any rate, Rude. I can see Arleman <laughs> giving me that look. More king stuff, I suppose. It can never wait. And if I don't get the chance some other time, thanks. I'm sure we'll everything. see each other again. You're leaving, aren't you? And I'm not. 
I guess we'll see how things play out. But there's certainly few... I'll let you get to your adoring public. They want to see the hero of Ferelden, and who am I to keep them waiting? Where's even all even leave it looking? Oh, whatever. It is Hello, over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the civil war and then defeated the blight. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say thank you. It truly cannot be said enough. <laughs> so I'm learning. It's too bad that you aren't remaining here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden would have influence, but I understand. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems Fair well enough. enough, and Isolde refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. Tell me. You're welcome. Have you noticed anything strange about the lad? He seems quiet. What did I do with the kid? Oh my god, what did I do with him again? Oh god. Ah, you are no doubt correct. It is my imagination, I am sure. Oh no. But here I am, Ramsay. Exactly on. Like I shall let you get back to your Did I leave the board. demon? Enjoy it while you can. Go so you can come back. Oh no. I can't remember, but at the same time, it makes sense. It is very strange to hear so many speak of a mage in such glowing t Allow me to offer you my congratulations and my thanks. The tower is now nearly restored to order. It pleases me to see such a young pupil achieve prominence. I look forward to watching what you accomplish next. Now, I should leave you to your celebration. <laughs> Holdred's revolt has left me very quick to tire these days. Retirement will come soon, I think. So Hello, here Lumea. we are. The conquering hero has won the day, and now he takes his bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. You're sweet. I don't know. I haven't read that part yet, have I? You'll have to tell me. Oh, is that how it is? <laughs> you know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly really is. You should know. I'm thinking of going back to Orlais for a while, to find Marjolaine. I don't know how long I'll be gone. No, this is something I need to do on my own. Perhaps we will see each other when I return. I look forward to it. Until then, be well. May the Maker watch over you. Oh, well, that's sweet of you, Liliana. Okay, who's next? Zevra will be friend. relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins, after all. I can't help but expect the crows to appear at any moment, which would be a welcome break, mind you. 
I suppose so. Eventually. With Talison dead, it may take them time to figure out what has happened, but they are like the tides, predictable. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get complicated. You said earlier that yeah. you were planning on leaving soon. Is that true? It occurs to me that I live better when I'm near you, and that's aside from any other ancillary benefits. Then let us not spend any time apart. It shall be an adventure to remember. Well, another one. <laughs> well then, since we're going to be leaving together, uh, we can speak after you have been sufficiently paraded in front of the populace. Don't well, worry, I'll keep an eye on you and you make sure no one gets a clear shot. Not without paying me a great deal of coin, anyhow. Oh, that's expected from you, you bastard. The hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? Of that I have no doubt. It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come, just as Loghain wore his. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? I don't think many heroes ever do. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter. But I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to accept a position here at court. There's not been a mage advising the throne for a very long time. Oh, good on you, Wade. He's a good lad, and his heart is in the right place. He wants to see the lot of mages improved, and I am willing to help him. I understand you will be leaving. I wish you good fortune on your journeys, wherever they may take you. If we do not see each other again, live well, Warden. And thank you. Oh, I accidentally started a dad. Whoops. I guess I'll just wait for a second. Actually, can I, like, reload all this? No, I can't. I can. Okay, maybe just in case I'll make a demo save file. Oh. Oh, whoops. I think I may have accidentally... Oh, dear. Hmm. I may have fucked up. <laughs> ah, crap. I had to fight this bastard again. All right, all right.
so be it. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Here comes trouble! <laughs> Okay. I do not know what's going on with her. Yes. Oh, she's doing captivating song. Okay, that was weird.
what hit them. Ow. Get on it. It's dead doing it. It's dead third, baby. Yeah, straight dead. Alright. Well, we just killed the we just killed him twice. And so then <laughs> of those who is there any boon that you might request of for... You know, that's a very good point. Let it be known, then, that the Circle has earned the right to watch over itself. The tower shall be restored and then turned over to the mages. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? I don't suppose the Grey Wardens are really in a position to stop you. Then let me say, I hope your travels bring you back this way soon. Uh, there's a group of... Uh... Alright, I gave power to the, uh... I gave power to the Magi. I think they deserve it. So, the odds were... I just don't understand how you're... St I had no idea. Speaking of Morrigan, do you know where she went? I'm told she vanished right up... Good riddance, I... Uh, at any rate. And if I don't get the chance some other time... Thanks. You'll leave it. I guess we'll see. I'll let you get... Alright. It is very... Allow me to offer you my congratulations. And my thanks. It pleases me to... Now, I should leave you to your celebration. 
So here we are. The conquering hero has won the day. I don't know. I haven't read them. You know, you should know. I'm thinking of going back to Orle for a while. To f no. Perhaps we will see each other when I... Until then... I talked to Wayne and Severin. I talked to the others. Humans have a better taste for spirit. Or some RA will taste like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure. After what we went through, <laughs> I think I've earned it. I think you've earned it. So I guess you're heading off soon, huh? Leaving the city? I'm thinking I'll stick around myself. <laughs> At least for a bit. I'm getting used to that big sky up there. And I'm thinking I might just look up Felsi again. See where that goes. I wish you best of luck, man. Ha! <laughs> I'll drink to that. Ah, oh, well. God, enough you're great. babbling. That pot bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. <laughs> Don't ever change. <laughs> Who? Me? It's been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. Always good to see you, man. It's good, Eric. It's good, Eric. Let me talk to They oh, call you Hero. I have not heard it used before, but I think I understand the intent. The Arishak on Do occasion you? has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however. A death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Veil would be too proud. When a Kunoran Veil is declared, certainly. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. I can tell. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. I suppose I should tell oh you. <laughs> I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. I am going to miss you. And I to you, strangely enough. It must be said. Aww. You found my sword and gave me a chance to restore my honor. I owe you a great debt. Oh yeah, I gave him a sword back. It has. That one of the Baz, a foreigner, would become known as Kadan to me. Unthinkable. Yet here it is. Perhaps I shall see you again one day. Until then, may you always find the path you seek. Farewell, Kadan. Farewell, Stan. Why, I can't talk to my dog? What the hell? I call bullshit. I feel like I'm missing someone. Ogre instead. No, that's everyone other than... The hero of Ferelden. My, my. Of the... But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. I don't think... I... Not that I've... Instead, I've decided to accept a position here at court. There's not been... It's true. I may not have very much time. I understand you will be leaving. I, if we do not... Yeah, are you? Okay. The only other person now left is Zebrin, alright. I will. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins after. Uh, you, you said earlier that you are planning on leaving soon. Is that true? It occurs to me that I live better when I'm near you. And that's aside from any other ancillary. And let us. <laughs> Alright, well, looks like everyone's sticking with me. I'm fine with that, honestly. Are you ready, my lord? The crowds outside are getting restless. 
Just put in an appearance, so I understand it. The people just want to see their hero. I'm supposed to take you to your escort. Full brigade. Their armor all shined up and everything. <laughs> They're really honored to be guarding you, let me tell you. Right. All right, let's go. I'll take you there now. Follow me. And then must follow his coronation, as the proper king. If logic won't involve himself in much gutty, travel old far, make an appearance to the town throughout Felden. They refer to him as the king with the common touch, even if you knew it was a simpler version of life in court. Rumors of the urn of sacred had been found, and that is used to heal on even of its poisoning. Sickly. Circulated for Elden in the months following the Dark Swan defeat, slowly at first, and then a growing frequency as the Grand Cleric failed to deny them. Once the Chandra made several attempts to verify the rumors, however, there are came to an official degree that no resting place for the ashes had been found. If the urn of sacred ashes was no was in those ruins once, it was no longer. Following the efforts, the Tower of Circle has finally cleansed the last spirits and slipped through the veil. No further abominations were created, and the first Shinra Ivers was pleased to declare the Circle safe. All that could be saved had been. With the slavers shut down the alienage, the lot of the city born elves improved for a time. The new king even named the local elder as his personal court, a scoundrel amongst the humans, but a sign of new hope to the elves. Shinny Shiani uh, continued to be an outspoken member of the alien community and in time became the new elder. The outspokenness earned her frequent trouble but served her people well. All even returned to Denrim for a time, acting as a chancellor and chief advisor to King Alistair. Tegan ruled over Erkef in his stead and was surprised to find herself well loved by the villagers who were still grateful for the nights he spent defending their lives. In time, even advocated in favor of his brother, an event the locals greeted with approval and enthusiasm. The Daily Sarahs prospered after the siege of Darim, having earned much respect for their part in the battle, for once human lands welcomed the wandering folk. The new keeper, Leliana, was respected both amongst the Dalish as well as the Ferelden court. She was a voice of reason. Other Dalish clans would turn to her to help resolve disputes with human folk. In time, many of the Dalish moved to their new land provided to them in the south near Ostagar. Wary of their human neighbors, however, tensions soon rose again and only Keeper Leliana's Kalisha kept peace alive. In Orzammar, Kiro Haramut found himself in a protracted battle against Balin's rebellion that left him unable to gain the stability he needed. The clan lords rejected many of his measurement measures and the assembly, and only his efforts to increase the drawer's isolation with any, from the surface met with any success. In time, Haramon's health began to fail. Some claimed it was poison, while others said it was a flaying spirit. Either way, after a protracted illness, the king finally passed away. The raggling in the assembly for the successor began almost immediately. Oh god. That didn't go well. New Chantry and Elzamar drew a surprising number of converts among the dwarves. They quickly attracted a great deal of anger from more conservative quarters, and before long, the assembly severely restricted the astronaut rights. Brother Berko res resisted and was slain while being arrested during a peaceful demonstration in the commons. The assembly claimed that this was an accident, but news the resulting of the riots reached Chantry on the surface, where the Divine even contemplated a new exiled march. The Dwarven mage Dagna ultimately completed her studies at the rebuilt Circle Tower. Eventually, she published a cohesive theory about how Lyrian vapors related to the supply of magic. It gained a great deal of attention. That's nice. Although the Anvil of the Void was destroyed, rumors about the location crept into Ozamar. Years later, thanks to the defeat of the Dark Swan on the surface, a few determined smiths managed to locate the Anvil's remains. They examined the ruins of the Anvil and upon returning to Ozamar with their finds, convinced the shipwright to attempt to recreate Cauldron's research. A new golem was created, bound with a 
Spirit taken from the Fade. The Golem immediately went insane, killing several Shapers before it was destroyed. The research was branded excessively dangerous and sealed away. Whispers of the existence circulated throughout Ozamar, however, and the men among the smiths kept to reopen Caden's research refused to abate. As good as it were, Morgan disappeared. Once with the arch team, it was slain. Someone of Morgan's description it was seen traveling alone months later, heading west to the Frostback Mountains, and she may even have been with a child. The ring that Morgan gave Glitch from Andrew's possession, she had once claimed that it would form a connection between the two, and there came a night when he was sure he, she was thinking of him. Somewhere, she felt her grand sorrow, but the ring told no more. There was no more word of her after that. With Plymouth dead, or at least gone, the chances of tracking her down were slim indeed. One cannot help but wonder, however, what became of the child? What were Morgan's plans? These questions must remain a mystery for now. Both Klitsch and the companions who helped defeat the Blight eventually scattered to the four winds, drawn either by personal duty or the call to further adventure. Circumstances dedicate that they would not be see each other again, at least for a time. As the blighted lands began to heal and the Great Warren slowly built, rebuilt the order and I don't know how to say that, they discovered that the fight against the Dark Spawn was not yet complete. Although the Horde was routed and has dissolved upon the Archdemon's death, many of the more remaining Dark Spawn survived to organize roving war bands and that preyed both upon the land and, the, and upon each other. The war, these war bands spread havoc and they have even been journeyed west into Orlais or across the Shining Sea by the deep roads. They prove incredibly difficult to wipe out. But these are tales yet to be told. This tale ended when Grant sank his blade into the Archdemon head and destroyed it forever. It was not the last that friend I would hear, hear of him, however. Nah, I can do witch hunt. Flemeth once told me that temptation lies in the forbidden. <coughs> do not follow me, I said. Harder words I have never spoken. Some doors should never be reopened. What's up, boy? Gonna do it a little, man. I'll find more again, I promise. Looks like I still kept all my stuff that I have on me. That's good. Alright. Oh, hey, is it, wait, is that a small clearing? Death of Plymouth? Yep. Hello. Not another step. What are you doing here? Call off your hound, Jesus Sham. Dear. And tell him to back down. 
Ugh. Fine. I am Ariane of the Dalish people. My keeper sent me to find Ashabelinar, the woman of many years. Then tell him to back down. We thought she could help us find her daughter, Morrigan. The young witch has caused trouble for my clan. Has she earned your ire as well? Irabellas. I have heard nothing good of these witches and children. Morrigan stole an ancient book my clan has guarded since the days of Arlathan. We were the only ones with such a piece of our history. Everything we once had. All legacy of our ancient magics were stripped from us. First by the Tevinger Magisters, then by the Wretched Circle. And Morrigan took what little was left. One month ago, she visited our clan in the name of friendship, and took great interest in our history. She knew exactly what she was looking for. The Keeper allowed her to see the book. Two nights later, it was gone. For almost 2,000 years, the Dalish people have been wanderers, a shadow of what we once were. This book, as much of a mystery as it is to us, is one of the only clues on how to reclaim that past. My keeper, Solon, says it was a treatise on something the ancients called Alluvian. The word is as old as the book itself, and its meaning has been lost, save perhaps to Morrigan. Help me. We both want Morrigan, and we can aid each other. The book of Alluvian was reclaimed from my clan by an elven mage who stole it from the Circle of Magi before defecting. He said other similar treasures remain in the library, but they would never allow a Dalish to view them. Perhaps you will meet a different reception. Masirinus, I look forward to working with you. Twisted creatures.
Welcome to Ferelden's Circle of Magi. Please, keep your hound under control. Some of the apprentices are easily startled. And I see you have a Dalish elf with you. Is that a problem? What is that supposed to mean? Most Dalish are common thieves? As you say, the Circle is glad to have you as a guest. As you can see, things are much changed from when you were last here. Gregor is in Denerim, attending to some important business. My name is Hadley. I lead the Templars in the Knight Commander's absence. If you're looking for a book, you can start in the Index section. As the Warden Commander, you and your guests are free to explore the first floor of the tower without an escort. Good day to you. I see why Keeper Solon did not want me to come here. It is all too tempting to overturn the tight order of their little world. in the Jowan incident. <laughs> Jowan? Now there's a mistake of nature if I ever saw one. Oh, he wasn't so bad. Good for a laugh, if I remember. For the lose Jowan, you can always find him flailing about in the giant gulf between his intentions and their actual consequences. <laughs> Funny how the Templars never thought of that when he ran away. I was not. Oh, all right, a little. You have to admit, it's tempting, right? All these mages, so complacent, thinking they're so important. You think I need to relax? Well, maybe. Come on, no time to waste. Enchantment? Enchantment! <coughs> Enchantment! Yes. Bodan is trading in Redcliffe. If you're interested in his goods, I believe Sandal has some of them to offer you. Enchantment! Enchantment? Enchantment! Enchantment?
Hold on a second, guys. Well, sorry about that, guys. I just had a weird phone call, but it was like no one. Okay, let's go. Look at all these books. I've never seen so many. Is that a purebred Mabari? I wish I had one. They should allow pets in the tower. Don't you remember the Dragonling disaster? There's bits of Ivan Dragonling. still burnt onto the ceiling on the third floor. I'm talking about common oh pets. Dogs, cats, rats, owls, that sort of thing. You have a point there. Psst, you, loud. You think you could sneak up on the mage over there? <laughs> How high do you think he'd throw those things if he turned around and saw you looming over him? <laughs> oh, lighten up. This place is like a tomb. A few surprises would be good for them. <laughs> Warden, your dog is lecturing me again. What the fuck do you expect me to do? You're <laughs> I don't even know what to say to you. Is anybody looking for here? Hold on. Elven research. I find it F E F E F E. I'll just look through the entire index here.
magic, medicinals, mysterious artifacts. I recognize the character on this page. I think it makes up part of the word Illuvian. I think so. This is a library, isn't it? Okay, I could definitely find the language thing for this. I just, I found it recently, so. I think this is the one. History section. Here. Oh, you let a dog in here. And what are you doing? Be careful. Leave my dog alone. Wait, I know you. You're the Grey Warden Mage. The hero. This is even worse. You're the a -hole. Didn't they teach you proper care of antique volumes in the first year? Maker. I'll kill you. People save the country and suddenly they think they can abuse priceless books all willy nilly. I'll hit you. I've used it, but I don't know it by heart. Hmm. Browsing the chapter on the Illuvians. No one's actually found one, you know. You know what Alluvian is? It's old Elvish for seeing glass. Mirror. Alluvian isn't just any mirror. It's a special kind. When the Imperium sacked Arlathan, they took these mirrors and tried to unlock their power. But all they could use them for was communication over long distances. Solon thought Illuvian was a place. Hmm. My people crossed paths with another Dalish clan not too long ago. Two of their young hunters encountered a strange mirror in some ruins. One disappeared, the other became deathly ill. They never found the one, and the other died. They left Ferelden and traveled north to forget their sorrows. Shattered. Destroyed. <gasps> Why? It was corrupted by the Darkspawn. Beyond hope of recovery. They did it to protect others. Even broken, it could be used to find the others. No, don't get ahead of yourself, Finn. You have to be sure. What? What do you know? This is so exciting. <laughs> we have to get to the repository. <laughs> Hadley has the key. Alright, suddenly I have a guy.
You know what? I'm fine with taking the sword. Uh, let's go. Okay. Oh, I got to to Hadley. Okay. You hear what's going on up in Kirkwall? Kirkwall? Oh, how thoughtful. It's very pretty. Slobbery, but pretty. You should just tell him to fetch a Morrigan. It would save us a lot of trouble. Hadley! Just the man I was looking for. Not looking very hard, were you? I'm always here. <laughs> Good one. So I am... Um... I need to go into the repository. No. No? Why not? I'm not some drooling apprentice. It's because of me, isn't it? No. The Sentinels have been behaving erratically, so the repository is locked for everyone's safety. Oh. Well then. Uh, sorry for bothering you. Unfortunately, we are still not sure yet. The repository isn't crucial to the daily functioning of the Circle, so we've left it until we can spare more men. Oh, very well. It's your next. But before you... The statue. It knows things about Tavinta, and I need to speak to it. All right. Be careful, and keep the mess to a minimum. You know that talking to inanimate objects is a sign of insanity. Not when it talks back. You think the statue talks to you? It's complicated. It wasn't always a statue. You'll see. Interested. Oh, what's this? Hello. Wow. I'm glad you take it, though. I'll come back later for you. Actually, hold on. Enchantment? God damn. I don't really care for the this, this staff. I mean, a ghastly hat. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, they are definitely not holding back with all these. Vimrars. What the hell? Oh, okay, so this basically resets my level, so I can just redo it all. Now I'll stick with my sword. It is done. What I have. Let's go. Alright, let's go. I'm 
I'm kind of curious to try this whole sword thing, if I'm being honest. Right. Let's go. In the veil, if we can. Interesting. darkness wow it does talk uh, hello the, the shadow will consume all something is causing it distress the tears in the veil most likely the statue's useless until we mend the veil So uninterested in any landmark. I'll get on it. a ladder so you can get off my back.
they take the veil out, everything goes back to normal. Bye by me. Want me dead? Holy crap! Got it. Let me get you a ladder so you can get off my back. You got it. Now better than me. Got it. Now better than me. Got it. Let me get you a ladder so you can get off my back. Holy crap, that was annoying. I know for a second that I thought that was Alistair. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
gonna get you a lap. Generate here, real quick. Reaper's vest is definitely fit better. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I hate the fireball with a passion. And I broke it. This is not my day. That fireball hurts your ass in that. Of 
Sentinels should stop trying to kill us now. Let's get back to the statue. There we go. And I get some money out of it. Cool. Take it just in case. I'm not sure why I'll need it. Go fetch! Shoot! You have to give him something. You can't just say fetch and expect him to retrieve random once heard of someone with a really smart Mavari who would run off and fetch things like... Like... I think this one's broken. Rude. This used to be where the phylacteries of the apprentices were stored. They've been moved to a more secure location. We don't even know where they are anymore. After the whole Jow went out... Uh, uh, wow, whatever his name is. After that whole incident, I guess so. The spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and advisor to Archon Valerius, blah blah, fall of the house. Yes, yes, we've been through that. Finn, greetings. Oh, yes, you were here, weren't you? With Jowan. Some of the apprentices now use his name to describe dangerous schemes with little chance of success. Technically a misnomer, since he made it out of the tower alive. Oh, yeah. It'll know about the Eluvians. You'll see. Eluvian. The mirrors. Yes. Saved from Arlathan. Pretty things that showed no reflection. Only a haunting emptiness. You remember Arlathan? Little elf, now you carry that emptiness with you, and name it for your homeland. Where are the mirrors? Where is a door? Is it not in two places? It's hard to get answers out of it. it requires passing all the grandiose mumbo-jumbo. We know where a broken Illuvian lies. Can it still be used to find the others? Scry, the broken glass, dagger sharp, will be your key. The lights of Arlathan will illuminate the Scryer's path. The Archons possessed them, but they were misused, befouled, and lost. Like so much the Imperium touched. Some were saved, carried by fugitives from the Elven city. Their sorrow awoke the stone, and her children sheltered them. They found a sanctuary in the deep halls of Kad Halash, now known as Kadash. There the lights of Arlathan lie. Shielded from unworthy eyes. So you know of it. Convenient. Goodbye, Finn. We will not speak again. Lovely. <laughs> what? What's that supposed to mean? Why do you think it said we wouldn't talk again? I... Oh, I'm not going to die, am I? Hello? Hello? Oh, we scared the crap out of him. Oh, wait a minute. That's a sentinel. Now, mage, tell us what's going on. The Illuvians are linked, all of them. If you have one, you can find the others, if they still exist. But the one you know of is broken and corrupted. So we need something else to amplify the magic. The lights of Arlathan. Yes. Let me come with you. 
I can help. Please. I thought the mirrors were all destroyed. I can't pass up this chance at actually finding one. I had permission to leave the tower to continue my research some time ago, but I never had the opportunity till now. I guess there's always a first time, huh? Ready to go when you are. You'll never be Alistair. I hope you know this. Enchantment? Hi there. <laughs> Enchantment? Does your name mean anything in Elven? Blessed creators, why does everyone ask that of people from other cultures? Oh, I didn't mean... What about you? Are you named after an honorable fish's appendage? Well, um, Florian Phineas Horatio Aldebrandt Esquire was a bit of a mouthful. And I oh, was God. tired of the other apprentices calling me Flora. You sad sack of shit. I guess we're going to Caddish Stag first. I'm not sure I like the deep roads. Fewer darkspawn than expected, but it feels like we're being watched. Wait, why did we stop? Is this Kadash Taig? Right, so I've uh, been going through my old notes. Um, and I came across this footnote. Apparently the elves would magically conceal relics of great significance, thus shielding them from unworthy eyes. And given what the Tevinters did, I'd say they count as unworthy. You don't say. That's my hypothesis. But they might just be buried in the ground, too. Actually, that's very likely. It looks like Kadash Taig was built on the ruins of Katalash. The lights of Arlathan could be miles below us. I liked the other theory more. If the elves concealed the relics with magic, only the blood of their kin will reveal them. Ariane. We need your blood. Excuse me? Just a few drops, that's it. You share the same blood as the Alathan Elves, so you're the only one this enchantment might recognize. Fine. Just because hearing that gets me all tingly. A few drops. I'll <laughs> be gentle. That was a dead My talk. spell will reveal vortices of magic. Standing in them should allow us to see the energy being drawn to the relics, which will lead us to them. Okay, then. Once we reach the influence of the lights of Arlathan, Ariane's blood will unveil them. But we have to be close. Ah, oh, if only I could see Shale. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is a nasty one. <laughs> Elevate 
Carving over here is an old dwarven dialect. If you find more writing like this, I could probably translate it. Oh wow, it's only connected to me. Huh, okay. I can't even read it right now. A magical vortex. We can use it to reveal the energy flowing. Do you see it? Can you follow the path? I always thought dwarves must be dull without magic. But this place is amazing. Actually had the class I would actually be what is this oh this is new holy crap I'm assuming this stuff is for when I go into being a other thing ah it's cool though it's pretty cool all right let's get back to the continuation over there. I think something's here. Oh, guardians! That's what that word on the scroll meant. Not being helpful. No. Now it's being shown the guardian is currently right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? 
Knights of Arlathan are old lanterns. I didn't realize the statue was capable of being literal. Dwarven history when I return. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> to think of the dwarves giving shelter in this darkness to the elves who fled Arlathan. These are that these are locked. Let's see. I see torches still burning after thousands of years. I see enemies ahead. attention to where they're going. Oh, 
bet there's one here. Is oh, what we could do if we haven't lost this energy. Over here, perhaps. Cal's Giraffe. That was disappointing. My people could not have been comfortable hiding under so much stone. All right. So you've never been outdoors? Till now? I have been, but just don't care much for it. We had to do stretching exercises. I got sweaty. There was dirt. During my apprenticeship, they thought getting fresh air and exercise at least once a week would do us good. Fresh air and sunlight is good for you. You know what gives fresh air in the summer? Mosquitoes. Hungry for sweet, untested no, mage later. flesh. Well, when you put it that way... Luckily, it didn't last long. One day, an apprentice made a break for it. Jumped off the dock and started swimming for the shore. The Templars couldn't jump in after him. Not with the armor on. Finally found him a week later. We stopped having to go out after that. <laughs> that mage, Anders, never stopped trying to escape, though. Haven't heard from him since his last attempt. Interesting. Energy being drawn to the light of our lamp. This is like playing hide and seek. It Here we are. I think Here something's it comes. watching us. Four lights of Alathan. I hope that's enough. We still need the shard of the Illuvian, though. Let's head to the Elven ruins when you're ready. All right, this is where we leave. I might as well look around a little bit, though.
like searching around, see if I can find anything. I wonder if the relics here could lead us to where Arleth Ann once stood. Okay, another journal. Back tracking is always good to look around just in case I miss anything. Yes. The Dash Dwarves didn't even know they once had elves living here. Wouldn't this be remarkable enough to record in the memories? Well, you do you, bud. Time to continue the search. Now we're just gonna get out of here. I'm going in a little circle here. Oh, considering this area is, I think I'm closer to the uh, the entrance, might as well. If you hate the outside so much, why come with us? Couldn't pass up a chance to learn more about the ancient elves and the mirrors. Besides, the company is good. Thanks. I met the dog. <laughs> I didn't know you liked the dog. Time to go to the Elven Ruins. Oh, we're taking a long way around. That ring. You play with it often. A ring is a significant gift. In human cultures, does that not mean... You put yourself in such danger just to find her. What will you do when you reach her? We'll find her. You have my word. 
The ancient Alluvian will be our key. Let me just get this again. Your name is Florian Phineas... Horatio Aldebrandt Esquire. Can't forget the Esquire. Oh, God. Father insisted. Did your parents hate you? No. They adore me. In fact, I'm sure my name is a result of overwhelming love replacing good sense. I don't even know how to respond to that one. I think I feel... Yeah, I think I just feel bad for him. Landmark corpse. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the th landmark corpse. Very much appreciate it. Infected elf. No, don't fire. Don't freaking do that. All right, all right. Now let's go to now. I'm going to get one of the things get off my back. I can't do that. Are you kidding me? Okay. I guess we have to go this way. I see enemies ahead. Intruders! Kill them! Oh, he's dead. Fireballs my ass. Dark spawn up ahead. Why is everyone getting this special stuff? I'm so jealous. Right, right. 
Jeez Louise. Anything else? I can't believe this is one of the Illuvians. It's magnificent. And broken. Mostly broken. With the shard and the lights of our Lathan, we should be able to scry for an unbroken mirror. This looks like a suitable place to do the ritual. Sounds like I could actually use this thing. Get ready. I'll get on it. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, definitely. Watch in horror. I'll rip you up. Got it. So you can get off my back. All right, all right. What happened to Ariane? Give us your blood. Who cares if it hurts? It's my blood. That's different. I've pinpointed another Illuvian. It's in the Dragonbone Wastes. The Tevintas probably moved it there to see if the ancient Dragonbones could enhance the Illuvian's power. We examine the mirror. It might give clues to what Morrigan's doing. If she's looking for the Illuvians as well, she might even be there. Shall we?
let's head out. That about wraps it up. Off we go. Open for dragons and mirrors. Got it. Just gonna get you a lap. Dragon worshipper before? Not much for small talk, are they? Why would anyone worship no. a dragon? Dragons are big, powerful, and they breathe fire. Some people are easily impressed. Okay. Sort of thing,
Yeah, this all this armor is pretty cool. Hey, curiosity. Now that I think about it. Not as strong as I would think, but honestly, still not that bad. Of course. Oh, you suck. Is that uh, a Vartaro? It can't be. They're only legends. It is said they were rock and tree, wind and rain, given form and breath by the elven gods to protect their people. That is ugly. To protect their people? Then why does it look like it's going to eat you? Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back?
It'll be done. They won't know what hit them. Like give it a moment and see if it does drop anything. Ah, it doesn't look like it does. Sad face. This is it. The Alluvian. And it's glowing. We should. Hello, Morrigan. I think she's expecting you. Ask her. And if I take any of you with me. Or <coughs> Mrs. Scooter. No further, please. One more step and I leave. For good this time. I assume Hello you to know you too. what this is. I have gone to great lengths to find and activate this portal. Give me reason and I use it, and you will not be able to follow. I remained because I sensed your approach. You kept the ring. Tell me, I was well. why did you come? And you once argued with me that love is not weakness. I will never understand you, and you will never understand me. I would not even know where to begin explaining. My plan is to leave and prepare the child for what is to come. Such preparation requires time and power. I must have both if I am to be successful. More than this, I dare not say, even to you. He is safe and beyond your reach. All you need to know is that the child is an innocent. He knows nothing of the destiny that lies before him. Because the child is yours, I understand. I will not share my plan with you. I dare not. If your trust is insufficient, then your anger will have to do. I did not betray you. 
I left, just as I said I would. And what choice did I have? How was I to know that the battle with the Archdemon would come so soon? And when it did, I came to you. I needed you, yes, but I also did not want to see you die. And here you stand, alive. So do not speak to me of betrayal. Then allow me to provide you a warning. Tis Flemeth you should beware of, not me. Hunt her if you hunt anyone. My mother has tricked her way past death and more. She is no more finished than I am. I thought I knew what Flemeth planned. I thought what she craved was immortality, and yet I was wrong. So very wrong. She is no blood mage, no abomination. She is not even truly human. The ritual was but a means to an end, a herald for what is to come. Change is coming to the world. Many fear change and will fight it with every fiber of their being. But sometimes change is what they need most. Sometimes change is what sets them free. What I want is, is unimportant now. I cannot tarry longer. The time has come for me to go. You cannot know what you ask. Twould be better if you stayed. For you. For us both. Then come, my love. We will face the future together. Yeah, I figured I might as well just come with her. Because I remember in the last time I played Witch Hunt, I left her. Actually, I don't even think I was dating her. I think I, yeah, I was, in my, last time I played this game, I was friends with her and I let her go. But in this playthrough, I may as well come with her. Fortunately, I accidentally left Scooter with me. And that was Witch Hunt. Okay. I gotta look at something here. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's load this up. Say that the game may continue to try to experience through the no content chronologically. These exploits take prior to the siege of Denrim for us all. Denrim, enjoy. I'm fairly sure I did not have this with me when I came with it. Yeah, arrow 
one's still here. How do I even do Awakening? Like, that is the question. How do I even start Awakening? Okay, so... Oh, I'll have to figure that out later, but for now... Thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate everyone who said to watch, come by and say hello and all that such. I'll be doing Awakening next time, if I can figure out how to get that to work. So, wish me luck, and thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good morning and good night. Until next time...